Hey guys, welcome back to the DG Outdoors. So in today's video, I'm fishing with the world's worst fishing rod combo ever. If you guys watched my last video, I got this telescoping rod called the Ghost. It's in Russian, and some of the stuff's in Chinese um, for uh, 13 bucks. And I had to glue one of the eye, the eyes on. It's actually staying. The, the rod itself isn't bad. The reel sucks. Okay, and it's all plastic. Um, if you flip it and you're not careful and you flip it like right here, it's not going to go down. It's going to catch. There's very little line on here. It's probably 15 pound test line. See how the way it like comes down in a cone? It's like really, really weird. Um, when you cast this thing, I just got a generic swim bait on here that I bought. I threw on here. It's got a little treble hook on it. I don't know, a little paddle tail. But I've already broke off some of the line because I got a caught in that tree over there. There's a whole bunch of bombers and stuff out there on that tree. You guys just listen to how this thing sounds. It wants to stay flat. Come on, stay. Now it doesn't really want to do this. Okay. Come on. It does have this setting where you can flip it like in the middle and like, turn it whichever way you want to. Now it's not working. Yay. There it goes. See, if you don't get it caught on that thing, it ain't going to work. Yet. Just hear that sound. So I barely cast it out there that far, you guys, and look how much line's left on here. There wasn't very much line on there at all. That's how they tied it off on here. When you give it a good crank. Yes, it cranks, but, uh... Um... I have no idea. Please do not get caught. Oh my goodness! Sounds horrible. Now there is a way to move this thing down, like in the middle here, and it doesn't make that noise. It's got like a bait alarm on it. That's the one thing you don't get. It, it doesn't even have rollers for. It just got that little piece right there. But it just—I'm not even casting out that far, and it's running out of line. I mean, the reels worked except for that one flaw right there. Um. With it being all plastic and everything, I'm honestly surprised it even worked that well. It's over six foot long, the pole is, I can tell you that one. Because here I am. I'm 5'9". That's probably, what, six and a half foot? At least. I don't know if this piece glows in the dark or not. Again, I have no idea what brand this is. I guarantee this is one of those eight dollar um, fishing poles you can get it on Wish, probably. The person selling it advertised it as a kids fishing pole set, but I guarantee it's not a kids fishing pole set. We'll see. Now this thing wants to look go freely, but if I click it up all the way down, it goes freely all the way up got a stop to it I don't know it's weird it's called the sunshine DF 1000 it's got line capacity I have no idea it probably had 60 yards of line on it if that oh that just hit my hand yeah but I mean the real function probably scaring away all the fish like this Move it all the way down, you can naturally bring it. Look, you can move it down and then move it back up. And then move it down and then move it back up. One more time, move it down and then move it back up. And You're having too much fun, aren't you? Why do you want to do that? Yeah, because I'm definitely, I think I'm going to keep the pole more than likely. I'm Probably buy one purchase heck of some a reel, uh, put more on here. line. More line. Ooh. Stuff like that. Don't fall, babe. Yeah, there's a pole there. Oops. A little bit. We'll give it a couple more casts. I just want to show you guys how functional this thing is. I mean, it works. It does work. There's like no line. I saw another review on a pole just like this. It was by a different brand, different name. But he was out of England and he was catching all kinds of fish on this pole. But then is the one thing about this reel, when you have it selected like that, this actually detaches right here. 
which could break off. Which mine hasn't broke off yet, but yet. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it's all all janky plastic. I literally hooked it on that tree. Oh look, right here. Look at this. There's all the line. And that's how they tied it on there. There is no drag on it really. I mean there's a little bit of drag to it. Kinda. I mean it works. But you give it a good cast and then there's hardly any line left on it. But guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna show you guys something though. All right, it does collapse up. Okay. Just like that. There is a way to replace these guides if you have to. Okay. And the way that, well, oh, it's gonna be wrapped around there. Uh, There is the uh, $13 Russian Chinese fishing pole. Collapsible telescopic $8 fishing rod. Now, one thing I did notice the other day on that review, if you go right here, deep down in here, that's where all your poles slide into. And in order to hold this reel on, nothing fancy. You have to untwist this right here. And all this does is slide up and down like that. There's nothing to it, really. So, practical. Yeah. Junky. Definitely. Would I recommend it? Heck no. But I'm going to use the, the rod at least. It's the biggest rod I got. And, uh. Definitely. Definitely. Get rid of this janky piece of crap right here. This DF-1000 Chinese Russian fishing reel. But y'all, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.